800-794-2019. They have the energy since 1926. Back at Onega 6-5 cat fight. It is indeed in the main gym between Hanover and Frankfurt. 6-5 Hanover with the lead. Cody Ringstorff in the game. He'll get it to Andrew Bruno. Left side, Losey. He wanted that three and now may take it on the left wing. Boom. Foul down yeah. underneath. It's going to be on Fritchie. The bucket will count right. But uh, Fritchie talked about his physicality. If they're going to call it that way, it makes it a tough game for him. Well, it makes it real tough for him. And the, the problem with him is he stands out. Mm-hmm. You know, he's, he's listed as 6'4". He's a good 240, 250, and he is all of 6'4". Mm. Impressive athlete. That's for sure. He's fun to watch in high school. Now, Frankfurt with some trouble and trying to go off the hip of Andrew Bruna. And Andrew Bruno somehow ends up with that basketball, drives lane, and fouls. Well, they had him trapped in the corner, and uh, Frankfurt, I think it was so rude, he was caught down in the trap, jumps in the air to throw it off the lake, the, the double team, it just rattled off Hanover right into their hand, and then Bruno took it strong through the foul, and he got a chance at the old-fashioned three. Gets the lay in, free throw up, and strong rebound. Fritchie, he's going to go right back up with it, and yeah, so... Uh, a little four-point swing there for the Wildcats, and it is 13-5, Hanover lead. And Hanover right now on an 11-0 run. Now other end, and a foul is going to be called. That's two quick ones on Fritchie. And, you know, and I agree with you, and if that, that is the type of game they're going to call, they're going to have to watch him. I also saw him. He fell going back down the court after making that bucket, and I was kind of lost for a moment, just kind of, seeing if he was okay. He came down on his shoulder, the injured shoulder. He's really favoring it right now in some pain. So, well, he kind of collapsed into that chair, and I'm watching him right now. He's in some obvious pain. We'll have a Tristy back in, and now a steal for Hanover. That's Devin Juneman down court. to have a Tristy. Ringstorff, top of the key three. Yes. And just like that, Rocky, it is 16-5, and it is a 14-0 Hanover run. We're just about to ask, remember back when it was 5-2 Frankfurt? Boom, it's uh, completely the other direction. 16-5, and Hanover strikes quick, and now Franker with the basketball, and now five count. Five count called on Franker. So, no, a timeout call. Franker got the timeout. timeout. Just called in time, I think. Timeout called, 16-5, Hanover with the lead. 219 left in the first when we come back. What the heck is a firewall? What's the difference between SD and HD TV? How much data should I have on my cell phone plan? How do I hook my tablet up to the internet? Where do all these cords for my new computer go? For answers to all your burning questions, look to your local telecommunications provider, Blue Valley Telecommunications, providing phone, internet, TV, cellular, and so much more. Now offering IT support and consulting for your business. How can you make sure your homeowner's insurance covers everything you need it to? By talking it over with one of our trusted insurance professionals at Blue Valley Insurance. Our agents can help you know for certain that your home and your possessions are covered in case of a disaster or fire. Out of all the things you have to worry about, your homeowner's insurance shouldn't be one of them. We have offices in Lynn, Greenleaf, Hanover, and Marysville to serve all your insurance needs. Out of the timeout, Frankfurt with the basketball. Hanover with a 16-5 lead on a 14-0 run. It was 5-2. It seems like just about 30 seconds ago. And now Frankfurt with the basketball. Man-to-man defense from Hanover. And it's been stifling. Now, in the lane, what a nice move by Frankfurt. Brendan Levi for two. The sophomore breaks that scoring drought for Frankfurt. He's got a great handle with the basketball and good ideas on the court. He's going to grow into a stronger body, I think. But that was a heck of a finish inside. Now Zabatrisky on the feed from Will Bruna, and the lay is good. It's 18-7. That was too easy for Frankfurt to give that up. They had nobody that uh, took the lane away from Zabatrisky, and he drop stepped, and there was nobody there, and he had an easy lay-in. Frankfurt came out and went toe-to-toe with Hanover for a couple of minutes, and now they look like they've just lost everything they started with. And, and credit Hanover with that. They'll, that's a team that will do that to you. Now another near steal in the lane. It's Brendan Levi, and he's going to be fouled. And they're going to call that on Will Bruna. Now I mentioned the strength and going into that for Levi, but that was pretty strong move there to get up in the air bump and still get it to the rim. It gives him a chance to strike. He's lifted at 5'10". I 
be real shocked if he is. Hits his free throw. 5'10 sophomore and, you know, buck 40. Somewhere in that range. Not a big kid, but he's quick and he's got good floor presence. He does. a lot. Yeah, I agree. So he hits them both. He was fun to watch, especially in the second half of the ball game Saturday morning that uh, they were able to they went over Axel and it was really, really tight. They ended up with a six point win, but that ball game was in doubt from start to finish. Now Franker's gonna go to his zone. There's Ringthorpe for a three. That won't go from the wing. Rebound underneath is spot four, but that's gonna be out of bounds off Austin Diedrich. The Diedrich had it, but he never really got it and they finally lost it out of bounds. I think he tried to go back up with it and just didn't have a good grip on the basketball and lost it. Full four press again from Hanover and it's worked so far. Levi able to get Ringsdorf off of him and across the timeline. I know you don't want to take a quick shot of your Frankfurt, but Rose hit his first three-pointer, and he had an open look there. I, yeah, he did. I'd give him the green light. Well, he may have the green light, but Frankfurt, I think, has gotten into a position where they're just a little bit nervous right now with everything that's happened. There's a three ball from Rose, and that one off the mark, knocked around. Frankfurt's going to come up with it down to 45 seconds, and now they throw it away. Easy pickoff for Hanover. Here come the Wildcats. Bruna left wing, and now Hanover nearly throws it away, but Devin Juneman in the right place at the right time. Juneman out on the wing. He's going to work it back out to Bruna. Now he'll take one from the right wing, three, and that is Devin Juneman. Six foot junior hit three. It's 21 9 with 20 seconds left. Other end now, ball knocked away as Rose tried to hand it back. To Ryan Crosshour and knocked out of bounds. I think that was Austin Petrick that knocked that out of bounds. Third three pointer hit in the first quarter wow. for Hanover already. It was five to two, Frankfurt with the lead, and a 19 4 run by Hanover. Inbound pass in the lane. Oh, what a shot by Jacob Studer in one. I tell you, Studer, if he can get it inside, he is really tough to, to tangle with because he, he's got length. And broad shoulders and really keep guys away from the basketball. And you can see it right there through the foul. There's a chance at the hoop and harm. Zabatrisky guilty of that. Shot won't go. Zabatrisky with the rebound. Down to 10 seconds. Here come the Wildcats. They'll try to get one more underneath to Andrew Bruna. Shot off last. Yes, good strong move by Bruna. Six foot senior. And now a little travel. And probably could have been called, but that is going to end the first period. 23-11, Hanover with the lead when we come back. Kramer Oil is offering fuel contracts for 2015 so you can lock in a price between March and November for gas and diesel. You have the option to prepay the entire amount or pay 30 cents per gallon to hold the contract. The result? Easier budgeting, potential cost savings, and guaranteed supply of diesel fuel and gasoline to your farm or business. Kramer Oil delivers reliable service at competitive prices. Contact them at 785-562-2466 or online at kramer.com. All Street Value is having a January tool sale featuring DeWalt, Makita, Milwaukee, and Master Mechanic Power Tools. Stop in for a table saw by DeWalt for $599.99, a 20-volt lithium drill driver for $99.99, and a Hitachi sliding miter saw for $275. We also have a full range of accessories and blades, so get into Wall Street Value, 423 Lincoln Avenue in beautiful downtown Clay Center. Open seven days a week for you. One quarter in the book, 23-11, Hanover with the lead. Now, this is a 5-2 Frankfurt lead, and since that time, it's been 21-6. to Hanover with a run, and they are just really clicking right now. And it went from 5-2 to 16-5 to yeah. in that blink of an eye in that first quarter. Hanover with possession, out of the quarter break. Will Bruna, top of the key, 200 Nicholson, and they don't hang on to the ball very long. Devin Juneman just inside the three mark, won't go. Rebound underneath, and a good rebound by Will Bruna. Put back is good. And now a steal, Devin Juneman on that inbound. There's a three from Bruna, and he a lot of contact and no call. Well, he's got to watch that reaction. That'll yeah. get you teed up in a hurry, but he thought he was fouled, and he may have been. The whistle been. did not blow. No one, no official even uh, appeared to think there was any chance of the foul. Frankfurt now on the other end, shot up and a good looking shot from Jacob Suter, but couldn't get it to fall. Zabatrisky, I think, with the rebound. Bruna now feeds Zabatrisky inside. He'll take it back out. Right wing, Juneman, 15 footer, no. 
and now ball hits the ground and Frankfurt comes up with it. Boy, a lot of contact, but again, they're generally going to let you play a little right. bit in this tournament. It's the same year after year. There's a three now on the other end, and a good three from Adam Kenworthy, another sophomore for Frankfurt, yeah. who hits three, 25-14. Handles, handles himself well on the floor as well. It's the second three-pointer of the first half for Frankfurt. Now Hanover nearly throws it away, but saved by Nicholson. Bruna in the lane. Andrew Bruna can't hit. Ball loose. Good rebound. Right place, right time. It's Hunter Nicholson. Nicholson will try three. Left wing, yes. You don't really want to let any of these guys set for very long, and now a foul is going to be called as Devin Juneman just got out of position and a lot of contact with Frankfurt. I believe he got into Levi. Yeah, Brendan Levi was catching the ball and Thought he had a chance to get to him right, right through Levi. Four three-pointers now in the first half coming from Hanover. They're all different people. Cody Ringstorff, Trey Losey, Devin Juneman, and now Hunter Nicholson joins that group. A pretty good luxury when you have that many guys shoot the three. Ethan Pritchie is back in the game. And he is playing with two fouls. Now Frankfurt was driving in the lane and can't get a layup to fall. Rebound Pritchie. I didn't see who that was for Frankfurt. So Inworthy to drive again. Pretty good look. Lows the other end. Baseline three strong. Good rebound that time by Frankfurt's Ryan Crosshour. They're going to slow it down a little bit. Try to. Crosshour now inside feed to Studer. Studer driving on Fritchie, trying to work his way around him. Fritchie did a good job that time just positioning himself and the shot off the mark. Rebound Hanover. Three ball from the corner for Hanover. That is Andrew Bruna for three, and it's 31-14. He's suddenly off to a nine-point wow. half. And the fifth three now for Hanover in this half. Now the other end drive around is Scooter as he works his way around Fritzy, and Fritzy's backed off a little bit. Well, two fouls. Yeah, he's had to adjust his game. So Fritzy just kind of let him go around. It's 31-16. Trey Losey now. Green Nicholson. He'll try three. Top of the key. That's strong. Rebound spot for and off of uh, Bruna, I believe, or off of uh, Will Bruna to Frankfurt. Now, the other end we go is Alex Rader. And a foul on the floor. And that foul is going to be called on Trey Losey. You know, that's one, one and one coming call. Yeah, that'll send Raider to the line. One and one. 17 fouls now on Hanover. Three on Frankfurt and Tim Losey pointing that out. Well, I'll tell you exactly what he's pointing out. It's a free throw shot. Free throw up and down. The play that Studer had around Christian a minute ago, he, he coached Losey wanted to hook ball. He used his offhand and really right. wrapped around the waist to get himself free down the lane. And he's just kind of going back to that play and look for it next time. Second free throw up and down as well. It's 31 18. <laughs> Riley Albers will come in for Frankfurt. Austin Cedric comes in for Hanover. Andrew Bruno will get a break. Nicholson will bring it across the timeline. Right side, Losey. Back to the left to Will Bruno. You know, every time, every game I've ever watched with Hanover, I don't care who's on the floor, this is how they work the ball. Mm-hmm. Very quickly. Now drive in the lane underneath is Will Bruna trying to feed it to Ethan Fritchie and unable to get a good look at it. Out of bounds to Frankfurt. Yeah, it uh, doesn't settle anywhere on the offense when Hanover's moving it around that perimeter. It's working against the zone right now. In fact, they had to look inside. They got to take it away. The ball rarely hits the ground. There's a three ball on the other end and a good look for Frankfurt. That's Adam Kenworthy, the sophomore. He cuts it to 10. 31-21. Here comes Hanover. Trey Losey to answer. Yes. Trey Losey answers with three from the right wing. 34-21, and that's what you do. Kenworthy drops it in, and then uh, Losey got a great friendly roll on the rim. Shooter now to Kenworthy. Back underneath to Adam Kenworthy for three. Misses everything. Rebound Hanover. 3.45 left in the half. Underneath feed now to Cedric. Back to Losey on the right wing. Will Bruna dribbles in the lane. Little 10-footer, yes. 
Will Bruna hits for two, 36-21. Frankfurt had cut it to 10. And now five unanswered from Hanover. Albers now with the basketball. Inside feed, gets away. Shooter comes up with it. And a foul is going to be called. Is that on Fritchie? I think that's the third on Fritchie. And he's, he's frustrated because he had to come help on defense. Somebody slipped their assignment is what he's pointing out to exactly. Team. And he's going to pick up his first foul and put Suter at the strike. And that'll bring Fritchie to the bench. And that'll trick you just to come back in. Suter's free throw is good. And... Suter now has seven points in the game. He's one of two at the stripe and one more free throw coming. 36-22. Suter's second on the way. Good. So he has eight that leads the scoring for Frankfurt. Hanover's led by Andrew Bruner's nine. Three ten left in the second. Nicholson. Go hold it. Tries driving the lane. Gets it partially blocked. And Frankfurt comes up with that ball. Jacob Studer, the block down inside the paint on the dribble drive. Good job by Studer that time. Now, Scooter will work his way into Zabatriski, and he's backing in and took steps. Well, he turned for contact, which he's been getting with right. uh, the other big guy in there, Fritchie. And now, uh, Zabatriski kind of backed away from him, and it really threw him off balance. Well, Zabatriski can hold his ground as well as anybody, but I think he probably did that on purpose to give him a little room, but Scooter wasn't ready for it. So now, Losey, left wing three, boom. Third three of the game for Losey now. The seventh three-pointer wow. for Hanover. 234 left in the half. 39-23. Hanover lead. 30-second timeout. We'll bring you back in a minute. If you use propane, count on the trained, certified professionals at Propane Central to deliver comfort and confidence with old-fashioned customer service. Get more for your propane dollar with a free gas system check, flexible payment and delivery options, 24-7 accessibility, and more. Call Propane Central in Randolph at 293-5872 to get the best value in propane. Propane Central, need an innovator and friend. 234 left in the second, 39-23. Phil Casper along with Rocky Downing. Our studio engineer is Bernie Fansella. Day two of the 2015 TVL tournament. Frankfurt with the basketball. They trail by 16 trouble getting it in. Now they do. Now they break the timeline. Jake Rose with the ball holds it on the wing. Now he's going to drive lane, takes it all the way in and grab a Trisky just a little bit out of position as he tries to go up with him. And Jake Rose, just it's impressive to watch him work. He's not 100% healthy. You can tell the way he's moving. Still finding ways to create out there and get himself into the paint. Little situation for Hanover, two slip three fouls on Fritchie on the sidelines. Had the Christie just picked up his bench. So that's your that's your two two big boys that you want inside on the post. So with a sixteen point lead, he's going to take him out. He'll bring back in Cody Ringsdorf, and now Ringsdorf and Austin Cedric will try to pick up that slack left by Fritchie and Zabatrisky. And Fritchie, I'm still watching Fritchie on the sidelines. He's just not. Not feeling it. No, he's in some pain still. I've noticed that too. 39 24. And over with the basketball. Off the missed free throw. Three Trey Losey, top of the key. Somebody you feeling it, Cliff? Somebody's feeling it. Somebody needs to get out on Trey Losey. It's 42 24. His fourth three of this first half. And Trey Losey, he will shoot the ball. And he doesn't need much time to set up. Frankfurt with the basketball. Hanover's man-to-man defense is really, really good. Frankfurt unable to get inside right now. As Noah Studer now trapped by Losey up top. Now Studer gets away, and they just have to let him go. As he got by Austin Diedrich and Studer with an easy lay-in. Other end we go. Diedrich, to answer yes. Boy, and every time Frankfurt starts to get a little momentum, Hanover answers. Other end we go now. Studer tries to feed inside to Studer in the lane. Good move by Studer. Gets his own rebound off the miss. Putback won't go, but Trey Losey with the foul. 
he missed a couple of shots right there that he would likely make. I thought he was going to really get a break after the miss and then getting fouled, but he uh, couldn't get that one to go down either. The shooter will go to the line shooting two, 44-26. And we're with the lead. Shooter's free throw up and down. Shooter, a 6'4 senior. He's 3 to 4 at the line now and has 11 points in this first half. Had a really smooth shot. Mm-hmm. And he doesn't look like a post player, misses a second one. Doesn't look like a post player, but he does a good job under there. He's just got that length, it seems like to me, that he's able to use and great footwork when he gets it down in the post. Very smooth player. Probably would be able to play a little guard, I would assume, yeah. if he has to. Other end now, Bruna drives lane off glass, and Andrew Bruna hits for two more. Again, Hanover answers. Down court, nearly stolen. As Alex Rader brings it down, now it is loose. Suter somehow comes back up with it. Hanover with three guys around the basketball and couldn't come up with it. Suter now loses it again, and now out of bounds off Hanover. Suter actually put a pretty good pass into Studer that time, but as he caught it, talked about the good good work. I think he was already going before he had it secured. 45 seconds out of bounds to Frankfurt. Inbounds pass to Pocaruta. He'll drive left side, loses it for just a minute, now get it to Suther. One of three, but Bruna out there quickly on him. Suther on the wing, now taken away. Two on one numbers. Ringsdorf to Bruna, lay in, yes. Andrew Bruna for two more. He has 13 now in this game. And with 15 seconds left, press on from Hanover. 48-27. They lead. Here comes Frankfurt, and they just caught Hanover sleeping, but what a move by Austin Diedrich to block that shot, and Frankfurt won't get it to fall. Hanover, three from half court, and that is going to send it to halftime. 48-27, Hanover leads Frankfurt. Halftime will bring you back in two minutes. Why is Landau Lanes the most popular place to be in Marysville? First, because they have so much to offer in the way of food and fun. And second, because their hours accommodate everyone who loves to eat and enjoy plenty of time with friends. They're open Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. And Friday and Saturday, they're open till midnight. Stop into Landall Lanes for some hot soup on a cold day, a mixed drink to kick back and relax, or try to beat your best bowling score. The place to be is Landall Lanes in Marysville. Steve Z's Abilene Car Sales has that small town, down-to-earth, calm, friendly feel. The way an auto dealership should be. Their goal is helping honest, hardworking folks like you get a quality, dependable vehicle at a suitable price. Come look over the farm trucks on the lot that will take you through the heavy-duty tasks of everyday work. There's a great lineup of these working trucks that are nice, clean, and ready to go. Visit Steve Z's Abilene Car Sales on West 3rd Street or online at abilenecarsales.com. Alexander Pump and Service Incorporated of St. Mary's can repair and replace all brands of irrigation pumps. They have a full line of line shaft and submersible pumps, but their services don't stop there. They also repair and reline wells, acidize wells to restore production, and inspect well casings using a downhole camera with video recording. Alexander Pump and Services does work in the Republican Valley as well as in many towns in the KCLY listening area. Call 785-437-6305 for help with your irrigation well pumps. The wait is just about over. Arriving soon at Hanson Ford will be the 2015 Ford F-150, the toughest, smartest, most capable, and most efficient F-150 ever built. It's a better truck for Ford customers featuring an all-new, high-strength steel frame, and the F-150 is the first in its class to have a military-grade aluminum alloy body and bed. Oh, the places you'll go and the things you'll be able to do with the 2015 Ford F-150 trucks. Coming soon to Hanson Ford and Clay Center, and well worth the wait. Halftime, 48-27, Hanover leading Frankfurt. This was a game that went 5-2 Frankfurt to start, and all of a sudden, before you and I even knew what hit, Rocky, it was 14-5. And I think before Frankfurt knew what hit to go along with that clip, unfortunately, for the Wildcats, they get the three from Jake Rose. They go up 5-2, to two, and you're thinking, oh, they've got a great, you said it, their progressive attitude, they're, they're right up toe-to-toe, and then Frankfurt uh, saw the Hanover just kind of impose their will in this game and go up 16-5. to five. Boom, like you said, 
and now 48-27 here at the half. 48-27 at half, and uh, three-point balls inside game. Now, the inside game, uh, a little tough right now. Three fouls on Ethan Fritchie, two on Evan Zabatrisky. And Fritchie, by the way, that's a shoulder injury from the Osborne game, and I told you I remembered that when we were calling that game that he had went to the sidelines, right, and they kind of held him out for a little bit. So uh, Ethan Fritchie struggled, struggling with that a little bit, and foul trouble as well, 48-27. Now, the winner of this game is going to advance. They will play Thursday at 6 o'clock right here in this gym against the winner of Donovan West. Troy, that ought to be a, a really good game. That is taking place right now right in the secondary gym. We'll see if we can't get you uh, caught up on that one. Get you scoring well. right here in a little while for you. Let's look at some scoring from uh, individual scoring from this game, Rock. You got it. One note before I go to individual scoring is uh, you mentioned the three ball for Hanover. They've hit eight first half three-pointers. That is exactly half of their points have come from wow. the half moon. So uh, they've done some big stuff there. For the Frankfurt Wildcats, they're led by Jacob Suter's 11 points, four field goals. He is three of five from the stripe. Adam Kenworthy has six points on two threes that came in the second quarter. Jake Rose with four points, including the three that opened up the ball game. Brendan Levi has four. Alex Rader with two points for Frankfurt. The Hanover Wildcats are led by uh, two in double digits. Andrew Bruna with 13, including one, three, and five field goals. Trey Losey, 12 points, all three pointers. He's hit four trays in the first half. Good name, Trey Losey. Uh, also, they get uh, four points each from Evan Zabatrisky and Austin Diedrich. A three pointer from both Je- Devin Juneman and Hunter Nicholson. Ethan Fritchie with two points in this game. Will Bruna has four, and then Cody Ringstorf hit the uh, other three pointer in the first half, and Hanover uh, leads at 48-27 off this score. We have a score from the other gym, 28-23, Donovan West. Don't know where they're at in that game yet, but they I would assume they're fairly close. Should be uh, to halftime. I think both games are moving along at a pretty good pace, but Donovan West up on Troy, 28-23. Here, 48-27 at halftime, Hanover up on Frankfurt when we come back. How will your wheat crop make it through this winter? It's up to you to give it the best fighting chance and a jump on the spring growing season with a fall fertilizing application. Wilbur Ellis and Reed Seed Sales is ready with stabilized N in two forms, field and site specific variable rate technology and custom application. With the experience of field specialists Brent, Allen, Darren, Kent or Mike Green, they clearly understand the problems customers face. You can count on Wilbur Ellis and Reed Seed Sales. Come home to Twin Valley, the company you trust for all your entertainment services. Twin Valley has the fastest high-speed internet, the newest digital TV, wireless phones, security services, and much more. Twin Valley services outperform the competition for less money every month, and it's easy to switch over. Call their office and speak with a customer service representative to find out how you can get Twin Valley for all your communication and entertainment needs. Twin Valley, one company, one call, your call. At Patterson's Health Mart Pharmacy, the pharmacists are committed to making sure you understand the instructions that allow your prescriptions to be taken safely and effectively. They'll take the time to counsel you and set your mind at ease concerning your medications. Patterson's has health care aids such as walkers, canes, and lift chairs to help you with your daily mobility needs. Putting the care into health care is Patterson's Health Mart Pharmacy with locations in Clay Center, Abilene, and Salina. Anywhere people gather are breeding grounds for germs. To demonstrate, my assistant Roscoe is wearing this lovely germ costume. I look ridiculous! True, but it's a very effective visual aid. At Central Office Service and Supply, we've got the products you need to keep your office or classroom from turning into a germ factory. Like two-ply facial tissues and a 30-box carton on sale for $27.79. Or how about hand sanitizer and disinfecting wipes all on sale? <gasps> See, that's just what we're trying to prevent at Central Office and Clay Center. Back at the Twin Valley League Tournament. It is day two of the TVL 2015 tournament sponsors for KCOI's coverage of this tournament. Blue Valley Insurance of Lynn, Greenleaf, Hanover, and Marysville. Kramer Oil, Wall Street Value, and Lumber of Clay Center. Landall Lanes of Marysville. Propane Central of Randolph. Steve Z's Abilene Car Sales. And Alexander Pump and Service of St. Mary's. 48-27, Hanover leading Frankfurt at the half. Again, coming up, we'll have a girls game in this gym, and this should be pretty interesting. Valley Heights, uh, who comes in, I believe, the two seed, number two seed in the tournament undefeated against Lynn, 
who is five and three. But in case you have not heard, which you and I were shocked almost to the point of falling out of the bleachers, yeah. Joe Rupke is out for the year. Yeah. Poor Valley Heights uh, knee injury, and uh, look at Joe right now on crutches underneath. That is a it's a tough loss for Valley Heights. Terrible loss for Valley Heights, but it's also tough on fans of Twin Valley League basketball because she's fun to watch. Uh, and it's just a, it's disappointing to see it happen to anyone, but she is a, a real joy to watch play the game. At State track and field, we've talked a lot about the, the numbers she has put up uh, through her short career already, and so we hope the best first off for uh, Repke to come back from that and, and, and be as strong as ever. I'm guessing an athlete like her probably will be will be fine, but uh, you just hate to see those things happen. But it is a big crush to uh, the TVL and, and certainly the Valley Heights, but you know, Lynn probably probably think, hey, let's take advantage of the opportunity in front of us. Oh, I think most teams have, have woken up. Most girls' teams have woken up, and today we're going to take advantage of this. But again, the junior uh, state caliber track and field athlete as well as on the basketball floor, so we wish her the best. Now tomorrow, uh, we I will be here for uh, both games for a couple of games. You'll be in Hillsboro with the Clay Center Tigers. Lady, Lady Tigers early and then uh, followed by the guys. Correct. 3 o'clock tip off with the girls at the uh, Hillsboro High School gym and then uh, the Clay Center Tiger boys will go over to the Tabor College gym for their opening round game. They take on number one in the state, number one seeded Holcomb, which will be a, a big test. The Lady Tigers at Clay Center will uh, face at 3 o'clock uh, Sunrise Academy. So that's the uh, first trip ever into the Trojan Classic Center right. Play Center. And first time I'll get a chance to go down there. We've seen Riley County be a part of that for, for a long time. Uh, very, very uh, tough field of teams. So it'll be fun this week. Games tomorrow, a uh, consolation game starting at 4 o'clock, Hanover Blue Valley and Onega Frankfurt. Those are both girls' games. Not sure who's in which gym as of yet. And then uh, the 5.30 games, Axel Wetmore, up in Clyde Blue Valley. Those are boys' games. So I'll be around uh, Onega to look into both of those. Rocky will have coverage from Clay Center. And then both of you and I will be back here again on Thursday. You got it. About set to go here in this second half. Hanover in control, 48-27. But, again, we did see Frankfurt with a great start. We saw him try to make a little comeback. But eight three balls <laughs> from Hanover. Yeah, first half, half of their points from beyond that uh, three-point line. So they have uh, shot it well, and they always defend well. Frankfurt will start out with possession. And it will be Brendan Levi. He'll try to drive the lane. That won't go. Rebound ripped down. I think that was Zabatrisky and, and Diedrich. So Zabatrisky back in the game with two fouls. Nicholson now has it on the left wing. Inside speed to Diedrich. Turnaround jumper won't go. Rebound Frankfurt. Okay, it was blocked by Studer. Well, may have been blocked by Studer. Now other end, lay in, and is good. That's Adam Kenworthy, who decided at about half court that he was going to the hole. And he did. He got up in the air and still able to hang long enough with the contact to drop it in. And so he picks the third foul. That is Zabatrisky. So three on Zabatrisky and three on Fritchie. Early one on Zabatrisky is... Kenworthy misses that free throw, so we're now with the basketball. Will Bruna. Now Andrew Bruna tries three. Will Bruna fighting for that rebound, kicks it back out to Will Bruna. Too many Brunas on this team. (laughs) Will Bruna drives baseline, and now a foul is going to be called on the floor. Most opposition, by the way, says the same thing, Cliff, I believe. Exactly. So Brendan Levi picks up a foul for Frankfurt. And Crush Hour into the game. Levi is going to come out. And Levi is going to be a fun player to watch. Mm-hmm. I agree. Callie Nicholson with the basketball for Hanover. He's at the point. Left side to Bruna. Andrew Brunet in the lane, right about the free throw strike, gets one to fall, and Hanover back on the board, 50-29. to 29. Other end now, Frankfurt. Alex Rader now has it taken away. That's Zabatrisky still on the floor with three fouls. Now Bruna is going to be fouled. And Will Bruna nearly taken down. So Jake Rose picks up his first. Bruna now with the basketball. He'll 
get it to Nicholson. Now Nicholson, he'll take one just inside the three at the point. That won't go. Rebound to Frankfurt. Hanover a little bit cold from where they left off in that second period. Suter trying to drive in on Zabatrisky and nearly has his pocket picked by Diedrich. And now a shot up won't go. Rebound Andrew Bruna down for quickly. Nicholson laying yes and one. And that may be on Suter. Yeah, it's going to be on Suter trying to get the shot block. He got up high near the basketball, but down low there was a bump and the foul was called. The other end here, right, Phil, they tried to go right at Babatrisky with the three fouls, but Suter took a little extra time to, to try to square it up and in doing so had it stripped away from behind. And then Pritchie is going to come back in from Babatrisky, so big for big. You know, you really don't miss much when you take out Ethan Pritchie and put in Babatrisky. I think no doubt. Free throw on the way and good from Nicholson, so he converts the three. Has six points down the aim, an old-fashioned three, and he hit from beyond the arc in the first half. Now, other end, Frankfurt has it knocked out of bounds by Will Bruna. A possession to the Frankfurt Wildcats. Down on the baseline in front of Valley Heights girls as they get set to go, and now foul is going to be called on Hunter Nicholson as he went over the top of Raider. He shared the smile with, I think Jacob Studer may have said something to him, but they were both laughing about it. But the Hunter immediately frustrated with himself for trying to get to that basketball. He knew a foul was coming. Well, most guys know as soon as you do something like that. that <laughs> not sure why I did that. And knocked out of bounds. We'll stay off the hands of Will Bruna. Frank are just really, you know, for as strong as they came out and as quick as they came out, they've never gotten back into that rhythm. No, not at all. Man, no, Hanover's just not allowed that to happen. So Studer tries to go right at Fritchie, and Fritchie holds his ground. Now Studer will take a shot over Fritchie from about 10 feet. That's good. And now an early timeout from Frankfurt. 53-31, Hanover with the lead. Five and a half left in the third when we come back. Central Valley Ag can help you maximize your farming return. Ag Information Manager Trevor Smith recommends variable rate seeding. It's going to save you time. It's going to save you money. Your custom prescription begins with a soil test. Then we work with our seed department to come up with a planning prescription that everybody can agree on. Talk to your CVA field sales agronomist now about variable rate seeding. Central Valley Ag, where the customer comes first. For brutally cold Kansas winters like ours, you don't need the performance of your fuel to drop. Not when you can fill up with winterized premium diesel fuels at Farmway-owned fueling sites. Unlike other winterized fuel, Farmway fueling sites contain a 50-50 blend with number one diesel that gives you serious weather protection while optimizing power and fuel economy. So don't worry, just fill up at a Farmway fueling site or request a 50-50 blend for your farm fuel deliveries. Out of the Frankfurt timeout, 531 left in the third, 5331. Hanover with the lead. And Frankfurt is going to back off. They'll stay man to man. But they'll let Bruna bring it down. Andrew Bruna, free throw stride, shot up short, rebound knocked around, still knocked around, and now. <laughs> Loose on the floor and a tie-up, and they'll quickly call a jump ball. And that'll go possession to Hanover. Here, Bill say three different times, the ball's still loose. It never was in control with anyone that whole time. Well, I kept thinking it was going to get in control, and then would look like a little volleyball action out there. Bruna inbound to Nicholson. He'll walk it back up. It is to Andrew Bruna at the point. Dribbles left. Screen set by Fritchie. Now Bruna's trying to drive left side. Now kicks it back up top to Nicholson. Nicholson tries driving left. You know, Frank was pretty good defensively as well. Yeah, they, have they do a pretty good job, and now they're going to call a foul on Crosshour. As Andrew Bruna trying to drive his way in. Brian Crosshour just about a half a step behind. Unable to get that position that he wanted. Inbound pass. Fritchie drives back in his way in the lane. Instead, it's going to be a three ball from the corner for Will Bruno. Won't go. Here comes Frankfurt. Other end. And a good job defensively 
by Austin Diedrich to knock that thing out of bounds. And now the refs are going to discuss this. This could go the other way. Nope. It'll stay with Frankfurt. And I think that's the right call. I do, too. A handle where I'm not sure who tried to sell it down there. Maybe Austin Diedrich, but he immediately was pointing the other direction. But I think the people also went over. It was Diedrich, and I think I like what that underneath official did pointing at the other one because I think there was just that bit of doubt. Huh? What did you see? Didn't see anything. Okay, it stays here. Now, steal by Hanover. Will Bruna takes it away. Now, he loses the basketball, and now Coach Kim Lowe's just saying, hey, get control. And he does. And he does. Bruna underneath feet to Diedrich on the baseline. Has to kick it back out. Three ball from Nicholson. Hunter Nicholson, is that his first three? Second three of the game. First of the half. From Nicholson, 56-31. I think that's number nine. Ninth of the game for Hanover. Crazy. Now other end we go. Crosshower tries driving the baseline. Shot off the mark. Rebound Hanover. Here they come in transition. Left side baseline, and he's standing on the out-of-bounds line is Austin Diedrich. Just had not quite got back into position. Yeah, he back down and was shaking his head, and he almost made that shot. I thought yeah. it was from behind the backboard, but he was standing out of bounds. Ringsdorf, Losey. And Devin Juneman come in, and I tell you what, Hanover, when you watch them come off the fence, they don't lose much with their second no, five. No, not much size, quickness, or talent. Now underneath pass from Frankfurt is taken away. That's Trey Lowe's the other end, lay in. Floater, no, won't go. Near rebound by Devin Juneman, nearly knocked it back in the in the hole and taken away by Frankfurt. And Lowe's, he'd like to have that one back. <laughs> Sprinted through three defenders to get there like a fun returner, which he does on the football field. That's right, he does. Couldn't finish it. Boy, he hung up in the air as well, and really they were just going to let him go, I think, at that point. Now, ball knocked around. Drive around Fritchie is Scooter, and he's got There's a three ball from the corner and a good-looking three from Alex Rader. His first field goal, three-pointer, is five points in the game. 56-34 with three minutes left in the third. Again, last check, Donovan West was up at halftime on Troy. A little shot from the corner. Austin Diedrich, that won't go. Rebound to Frankfurt. He's got to be careful. A little frustration. And he's slapping at the ball. I think Coach Kim Losey told him the same, the same thing. Gets down court. Long three ball now missed from Frankfurt. Jake Rose. Rebound Hanover. Other end, Losey. Lay in good and one. Made a tougher one this time. He did. Made a tougher one, and he wasn't about to miss. And again, Right about in front of us, he made up his mind he was going. So four threes, and now a two-point field goal. But, wait a minute, a chance of an old-fashioned three. Here. Right, so low seat in the line to try to get three the old-fashioned way. Low seat free throw up and short. Watching Coach Kim shake his head. 58-34. <laughs> Frankfurt with the basketball. Adam Kenworthy to Jake Rose. He'll just throw up a prayer, and I think he was falling down. Rebound Fritchie. And he was going to the ground. I think he thought maybe he'd get a whistle and did not. Rose is dinged up a little bit. Now Losey tries taking another one and takes a hard look. I'm assuming that's his dad. I'm, I'm assuming. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Other end now for Frankfurt. Now foul's going to be called underneath. And that is on Fritchie, Ross. I thought for a moment it was on Devin Juneman the way you're... Oh, it is on Juneman, okay. I saw his reaction, and then I thought, well, wait a minute, maybe he's upset for his brief. So foul called on Juneman. Frankfurt will do some substituting, 58-34. Now, Hammer with a Comfortable 24-point lead, but I'm watching Coach Kim Lowe's again. He's not happy with what he's seeing right now. Yeah, yeah. They, well, big three-pointer from Crosshower flip. But, you know, I just don't think they've the team not got the comfortable lead on all those threes, and maybe they just haven't done what he's wanted them really to come out and execute tonight. Adam Garbenick, he's set this check in as a feet underneath Austin Diedrich. He hits for two. And I saw that happen in the Washington County girls game with Scott Romeiser put in his bench and pulled him out right away because they weren't reacting the way he wanted them to, and I think we're seeing the same thing. Yeah. Now a steal as the ball is thrown away by 
Frankfurt. Losey drives the lane, shot off the mark, and rebound to Frankfurt. Riley Albert. I think Coach Trey Losey's going to get a seat, and he's probably not going to like what he hears. Now he picks up a foul. We're going to get Adam Zarbanicki and Michael Schumann in the game, and Losey and Biedrich will come out. I love the look I'm seeing here. Coach Lucy turned and looked at Michael Jr. and said, Michael, go. After the last shot was missed by Trey, so you can imagine the exchange when he got to the sideline. Frankfurt now with the basketball. Rose in the lane drives and picks up a foul, and and that's going to be on the big man on Fritchie, and that's four. Fritchie looks to the sideline. not sure they're going to bring him out at this point, but yeah, I think Kenworthy with a chance to shoot free throws. Kenworthy at the line. First one on the way, good. Chrissy will come out. You're just having a tough afternoon. You haven't had a chance to play a lot. Not a lot. This, this season, even. Kenworthy did hit the first, and it's second. 60-39 with a minute left in the third. Kenworthy with 10 points now in the game. And over now with the basketball. Schuneman inside feet looking for Zarnicki. He gets it across to I can't see a number. That's Bruna. Andrew, Andrew Bruna. Bruna who picks up or gets fouled by Kenworthy. So <laughs> Benicki a good post and then able to have the presence of mind to wrap around across paint. Foul was called before the shot was taken. Zarbanicki, a sophomore. Victory sophomore. He sees the minutes, and I think he makes the most of it when he gets on the floor. Out of bounds, two hand over under their own basket. 50 seconds left. Bruna, inbounds, nearly taken away from Devin Juneman. Takes it right side to Michael Juneman. Holds it on the baseline. Now back up top to Devin Juneman. To Andrew Bruna, drives the baseline, shot up, blocked partially, tries to go back up after getting his own rebound, now does and draws a foul. It's Lucy, after the non-call on the first take inside by Bruna, we had, a, had an earful for the official right in front of him, and the next time he took it back up, that official didn't call the foul. Andrew Bruna's free throw up and down. Well, coaches are fun, fun people to be around as a rule, generally, and I, I did – one of the football games I did for Hanover got to sit with Coach Lowe's. I think you might have too. Uh-huh. And he's a lot of fun when he's not on the court. <laughs> he may be fun on the court too, but he's a lot of fun when he's not on the court. So I'm more fun when the guys are playing well. Yeah. 61 39, and they are in control of this game, but really have not played very well in this third period. Now, long three from Frankfurt, well off the mark. Rebound, spot four, loose in the lane, picked up by Frankfurt. Shot up, and I can't get a number on that either. I think that's Alex Rader on the putback. Now Trey or uh, Juneman with a floater and shot at the buzzer off the rebound from Andrew Bruna. Goes, <laughs> and we are headed. You need to get your breath. I do. The players. I do. We are headed to the fourth. 63-39. Hanover leads Frankfurt. Fourth quarter on the way. When you shop at Ray's Apple Market, don't be surprised at all the lower-priced items you'll find in every aisle. It's just part of bringing more savings to you every day, every week. Your money will go farther when you shop at Ray's Apple Market, as they have over a 1,000 grocery items and household products at new lower prices. Ray's Apple Market continues to bring you value, quality, and service to ensure customers get the best of what they have to offer. This is, after all, your town, your store. The Northeast Kansas first trials are in, and the Oldie C 2414 Corn Hybrid takes first place with an impressive 208.6 bushel performance, outperforming 35 other hybrids in four locations. And if you're concerned about managing risk this season, ask about our new drought guard hybrids that are delivering record yields. Contact Oldie C today at 877-692-4555. That's 877-692-4555. 63-39, Hanover with the lead. Frankfurt with the basketball, fourth quarter. In a game that Hanover has controlled 
that's trailing 5-2 early. That ball thrown away and taken away by Hanover's Andrew Bruna. Bruna now will take three, and he took Seth on the wing, and I just didn't see it. Well, I'm not sure he did either, but he kind of just took a shake of his head and went about his business when it was called. Now Frankfurt nearly loses the basketball. Raider, as he comes across the timeline, does get it across. Now in the lane, gets a two-studer underneath. Nice, but good idea, trying to feed it into Kenworthy, but taken away by Hanover. Cody Ringsdorf just got a hand up, and it bounced up off the backboard, and he got the rebound. Andrew Brewer, or Will Brunner, rather, will drive lane, and he fouled. Will Brunner headed to the line to shoot two. Will's had two points in every quarter so far. Six points in the game. A bucket in the first, second, and third quarter. Stuger picked up his second. Bruno's free throw is up over the backboard. You don't see that very often. you don't, huh? From a free throw and from a good shooter. Hit the back iron went straight up. Second one on the way. Good. 64-39. Fourth quarter just underway. Press on from Hanover. Frankfurt with the basketball. Now Paul loose again, and Nicholson comes up with that basketball. Down court, Andrew Bruno lay in, yes. And it happened that quick. He has 18 now in the game. Great pass up the floor that time after the ball had been cleared on the rebound. And now Frankfurt wants a timeout. Just a minute into the fourth quarter, 66-39, Hanover with the lead when we come back. At Geisler Roofing and Home Improvement, they understand that one of your most valuable assets is your home. They also understand that when it comes to the care and maintenance of your home, you want a trusted, reliable, and proven contractor on your side. Customers have said Geisler Roofing and Home Improvement truly cares about their customers, and they are very knowledgeable about their products. They have the expertise and the experience to get the job done and done right with integrity. Call 800-783-3360. The Northeast Kansas First Trials are in, and the Old EC 2414 Corn Hybrid takes first place with an impressive 208.6 bushel performance, outperforming 35 other hybrids in four locations. And if you're concerned about managing risk this season, ask about our new drought guard hybrids that are delivering record yields. Contact Old DC today at 877-692-4555. That's 877-692-4555. 66-39, Frankfurt with the basketball. And driving lane, little Studer had to kick it back out. Dropped down on top. They had a guy behind, and he dropped down on top of double team, and he had nowhere to go. So now Albers at the top of the key, looking underneath. Just not much there. Good defense by Hanover. Suter now inside feed. Shot up from Kenworthy. Won't go. Batted around. Albers comes out of there with it somehow. Puts a shot up, and I think it was partially blocked, and Nicholson ends up with it. Start of the fourth, Donovan West up on Troy, 42-36. Been a tight one from, from the beginning, it seems like. Appreciate Jeff Work keeping us up on that as well as a few other things around the Twin Valley League. 66-39, Hanover. They have the basketball. And now foul's going to be called underneath. I think it's on Studer. And one here. So that's the third, third on Studer. Yeah, that will be the third on Studer. That'll send Darvin Nicky to the line. Darvin Nicky gets to shoot from the stripe this evening. Sophomore just getting in here at the end of the third period and now into the fourth. And probably into the game for the first time for Hanover. 6 3 junior. Free throw up from Darvin Nicky. Won't go. Rebound from Jed Rose. But sophomore for Frankfurt. Albers nearly loses it out of bounds on the other end. Kenworthy now in the lane. Good feed to Rose on the baseline. Keep the back out. Top of the key to Raider for three. Old Go gets his own rebound. Good follow by Alex Raider off the missed three and gets an easy lay in. 41. Guy who knows where it's going when a missed shot is missed is the shooter most, most, time. Time. most of the time. Other end now, Will Bruna. He's just going to drive lane. That's way too easy. 68-41, and 
five Frankfurt players are looking at each other. Thought you had him. Thought you had him. And none of them did. Rose bet inside. Good backdoor look that time to Ryan Crosshower, but just a little too far under the backboard. Shot off the mark back to Hanover. Boy, good look from Rose. It was a great drive. Now underneath, Darvin Nicky tries to back his way back in, takes the back out to Will Bruna in the lane, and has it partially blocked by Alvers, and Alvers gets it taken away, and Alex Rader will end up with it. Raider now, other end to Kenworthy. Feet Raider underneath, shot up, no, won't go. Rebound battled for, and out of bounds off Hanover, they'll say off Nicholson. The battle inside, Raiders got into the lane a couple of times. This time was going for an offensive rebound, and it was knocked out of bounds by Hunter Nicholson. Alex Raider will inbound. Hanover stays in that man to man. Now he gets it in two hours. Back to Kenworthy. He'll go three from the left wing. And Adam Kenworthy hits in the 68 44. That's his third three pointer tonight, quietly. It's 13 points. That ball knocked away by Raider. But Juneman comes back up with it. Devin Juneman, Pelosi on the left side. Michael Juneman back to Devin. Devin's going to drive the right side, and a fall away jumper is good. And they'll say a foul before the shot. Yeah, before the shot. Uh, got him as he was taking his dribble into the lane. Then he backed away and shot the ball away. But they called it before he took the shot. Double bonus now for Hanover with the rest of it. Devin Juneman did get that shot to fall, but now he's at the line shooting too. First one rattles out. Devin hit a three back in the opening quarter. He's only points in the ball game. They'll have one more, 68-44, 420. Second one on the way, that's off. Rebound to Kenworthy. Frankfurt now, other end. Suther tries driving baseline. Good defense by Michael Jimman. Jed Rose in the lane. Shot up off glass, won't go. Tried to go up and over. Peyton Crawley, good defense by Crawley. Rebound Devin Juneman. Now Juneman all the way off glass, that won't go. Crawley tries to get the rebound. Shot back up by Zarbanicki. That won't go. Rebound Frankfurt. Three shots for a quarter, and they still couldn't get one down. 68-44. 3.49 left in the ball game. Now long three. Wow. Ryan Crosshour hits the three from the right wing at 68-47. First time he's really looked the bucket tonight. That was pure. And over now, really in control of this game. And I think Coach Kim Losey trying to remind them of this. Losey, inside feet to Crawley. Turnaround jumper won't go. Good rebound. Zarbanicki has it knocked away. Now takes it back. Good defense. And now he's going to beat Crawley for an easy lay-in on the comeback for two more. And Hanover's hit 70. Crawley will want to thank Zarbanicki for that. They <laughs> will. really fought hard to get that and then. Found him wide open for the lane. Darbinick, he wanted that ball back. He got it. Now steal. Devin Juneman. Now Juneman loses it. Ball on the ground, and Kenworthy comes up with it. I think he tried to tried to go before he really had it. Kenworthy inside. Turns and faces. Shot up. Won't go. Good reverse lay-in off the rebound. That's Jake Rose, 5'10", senior, 70-49. Not many will know the drill, but that's an old reverse Mikan drill right there, and he spun it up there perfectly. Two and a half left in the ball game. Evan Juneman has it at the point. A side and Lucy underneath Neath Crawley loses it, gets it back in to Losey. Now Michael Juneman. He'll try driving around the right side and gets the shot up, won't go, but foul. Jake Rose will be called for the pump, and that shot almost went in it's anyway. The so Michael Juneman, 5'10 sophomore, the two shots, first one short. And we're not hitting their free throws. No, they neither team shot a bunch in this game. It's, it's kind of stretched out from that second quarter on. But yeah, they haven't they haven't shot it well from the line. Juneman will have one more free throw up and down. But Juneman hits one of two. It's 71-49. 
Frankfurt brings the ball down across the timeline. Kokoruda with the basketball. Over to Stu, they're inside feed to Rose. Now Rose gets it tied up. 